Yeah, we got him. They're coming at me now, I'm gonna twist. Come up the driveway, left side. That's sick, this is it. I don't know, I got already on the... I got him, he crawled out. Look for that unit. Are you aware that we could have a second team in it? Hey, check the crew. We're cool. To the party in custody. Which is gonna want? We got one back down. Where? Where? Come back down. And then I suddenly saw the shooter, about 20 feet from me, standing at the end of the hallway, actively shooting down the hallway, just a barrage of bullets. And I'm staring at him thinking, why is the police here? This is strange, because he's in full metal garb, helmet, face mask. Uh, bulletproof armor, shooting this rifle that I've never seen before. Weapons designed for the theater of war have no place in a movie theater. This idea of requiring Miranda rights and providing a lawyer to a terrorist who makes it here to America to kill us all, uh, I think undercuts our ability to be safe. Uh, if you can detain somebody overseas wanting to attack, attack America and not provide them a lawyer or Miranda rights, you should be able to do it here because this is the battlefield. America is the prize of the enemy. So in summary here, 1032, the military custody provision, which has waivers and a lot of flexibility, doesn't apply to American citizens. 1031, the statement of authority to detain, does apply to American citizens, and it designates the world as the battlefield, including the homeland. So Good evening, everybody. It is an honor to be here at my last, and perhaps the last, White House Correspondents Day. <laughs> you all look great. The end of the Republic has never looked better. <laughs> 